all right guys welcome back to laravel react redux series and uh, and in this video we are going to make migration and model for our post and our post would have two fields one for um for our entering our username and and second for our post okay but you can also increase it but uh i will do that first okay let's uh, let's let's go to our uh, let's close this first let's go to database migration actually i haven't changed the database name so let's do that first i will say laravel react redux all right and i'll copy this and go to localhost slash phpMyAdmin and make a new database all right and let's enter that it's made okay so let's let's save this and close and we have to you know restart the server our server but we'll do that later let's make our migration for that we'll have to go to terminal and we'll say php artisan make let's make model and model name would be let's say post and we'll make migration and a controller for that all right so it's made let's go to and again my visual studio code isn't working right i know it doesn't show new folder made from this cli let's open that again okay let's do vis all right and yeah here is my migration i'll just increase this you can see post table uh so we'll add dollar table and it'll be string and we'll say it as username all right and we'll we'll say table um string and we'll have text here you know you'll we'll have a long text or post and what will we it'll be let's say post all right we can say post or whatever and its length will be 1000 let's give 1000 maximum 1000 and yeah that's it let's save it let's let's close it and open our we'll open our model here it is post.php we'll say protected dollar fee label and it'll take our array we'll say username if you haven't if you don't know the basic of laravel you can see my other tutorial there um, you can see for laravel for beginner called uh, with relation okay you can always go there and see that video and we'll 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 have post here okay so that's it so it is also done migration model is done now i will just migrate okay php artisan migrate all right and it will migrate our all the tables in our database let's 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 open that okay let's open our laravel react redux here you can see okay and and now after making this uh we have to make api okay so we'll make a backend api using laravel and we'll use that using uh use our um, our model data our database data uh using axios in react okay uh so we have to install axios too we'll do that later uh so uh let's 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 make our api we'll say route route it will be post we want to post our data okay and we'll say post comma post controller at store we'll store that and we'll go to post controller going app HTTP controller 
post controller and we'll say public function store all right and we'll we'll have a request it, it will take a request as we are requesting uh, to save it you know post request and we'll say dollar input oh it will come from input okay it's variable actually not too much so we we want to have a you know good variable uh, so that we know it is coming from input so we'll say dollar request and from request we'll have all so request is actually from form or maybe from api tester like postman api uh, or we'll we'll do that uh, a little bit later so let's uh, we want to save that in we want to save that and let's all right let's save that again okay, in post uh, in post model let's let's use post model here input use app slash post all right <clears throat> and <clears throat> we'll say sorry for that um we'll say post create and we'll say dollar input so we want to create the data that uh, we have entered in form or you know apis all right and we, we want to store that in one variable let's say dollar post and after that we'll return response so that after after saving we'll get response back on this post okay response i will say json and when we want to return this post okay that we have saved okay so let's let's test okay this api uh, so it is post request uh in slash post and okay it'll go to store and it will save that request data okay and will it will give response uh json data this which we have entered so uh you can uh, for testing api you can uh download you know postman api for testing uh also but uh, I, I am using in this Google Talent API tester. Uh, you can install from, you know, Talent Google. Let's see. Uh, yeah, here it is. You can download it from, you know, oh, no, no, not here. Google extension. All right. You can, you can download it free edition from here. Uh, I've already installed it to remove. So let's let's do at first let's send put a thousand and it give us no response. Why? Oh, I close this and I have to restart my PHP artisan server. Let's do that PHP artisan server. It will only recognize if our server is started. Okay, let's send that again. Yeah, okay. It is sending this page, okay. Alright, and let's send our post request. Request will be post. It will be slash post. And our body will be JSON, yeah, JSON, and it will be something like we'll have username, and username, let's say code online, and we'll have post. And it will be this is my first post all right uh, and yeah here comma is missing so let's do let's send this request all right let's send this it should it should return this 
you know but it didn't re return what is wrong here let's see is that Jason all right um oh oh what it's saying Frame walks one minute. All right, no problem. Slash post, yeah. No, it shouldn't be like that. This is not text, this is, let's say form, we don't want to do that, username and post, let's see our post table, username and post, and in here, username and post, username and post. What's wrong? Username and post. Visitation. All right. Post request. Yeah, post request. Oh, it is an API, so we have to say slash API slash post. Sending request 200. Okay, yeah, see. So it written us username, post, and Laravel default. It will give us, you know, Laravel will give ID, created, and opted that. Let's see here. All right, a little bit that was from Valley was solved. Yeah, you can see that. All right, now you can test your API using um, Postman or this uh, Talent API tester. So in this video, we made our, you know, uh, API for saving our username and post um, Now we have to make a little nicer front end for saving, you know, so we'll send request uh, a request uh, and we'll We'll also show data for uh, Let's not talk about that right now. I, I keep on my bad habits. I keep on talking, you know, like seeing like frame but but I think that's okay. All right, well, let's let's we'll do a front end maybe, or or if anything remaining, we'll do that. So uh, guys, I'll see you in next video. Uh, thank you for watching.